Hey guys, Alex here with this Cobb house and we're out here doing a video right before our workshop starts and I wanted to show you guys this project before we get started. We have a group of about 25 students coming in tomorrow. We're going to start the construction on the Cobb walls. So this is a brand new Cobb structure and it's a very interesting system I want to introduce you guys to. Um, I would say it goes by two different names, either Cobb Slip Form or the Cobbage system. And you can Google Cobbage. It's a, a British French team that did uh, research in the UK and France on um, engineering a system to build Cobb homes, basically using this uh, forming system. So I'm going to take you down here in a second here and show you the details but this is a form based cob building system so instead of the traditional hand sculpting you know hand sculpting it and um, trimming it and shaving the walls and trying to shape them up um, you're actually putting the cob into a form a box basically um, so it's really like a hybrid between rammed earth and cob and there's a lot of advantages to this system uh, for example you don't have to trim the walls so you don't have that wasted cob trimmings you just basically put it in the form lightly tamp it in there and so in the end you have perfectly vertical flat cob walls which is very difficult to do without a forming system um, it's also easy to insulate cob walls with this forming method you can either sandwich insulation in the middle of the wall or what I like is to do a dual wall system where you have cob on the interior as your load bearing and then the insulation mix on the exterior for insulating and that's actually uh, more along the lines of the cobbage system so I'm gonna take you down here and we're gonna walk around the building that I've put up here and I'll show you some of the details so with this system beginning down at the foundation I've started with a concrete slab and I've done a brick stem wall. So the stem wall is 11 and a quarter inches in width and that's the same width that our cob walls are going to be. So on top of the stem wall, as you can see here, I've attached the forms. And these forms are built out of two by fours and a six gauge metal wire mesh it's important to have a strong wire mesh so the cob can't push the mesh out because um, if you just use like a light gauge chicken wire or something like that your walls are going to bow out in these sections so you want to do some searching and some research to find thick gauge metal wire for these forms now the way I've attached these forms and in my opinion the best way to do it is to use these um, uh, metal rods with the brackets this is a threaded rod it looks like rebar but this is actually a special threaded rod and these are special brackets that go on these th threaded rods so if we look in here you'll see that the forms themselves are actually resting on top of the threaded rods and the threaded rods just sit on top of the stem wall. So these rods are what's holding up the forms at the level we want. So as we build this and all we do is make our cob and we put it in the form lightly compacted in there make sure we filled all the space and we're going to fill it up to the top and then what we're going to do is wait for that cob to dry a certain amount we're going to undo all these brackets they'll come off so we're going to undo the brackets pull these rods out take the forms off and then move the forms up to the next level and then rinse and repeat we're going to fill that section let it dry take the forms off and then move them up um, that's what's called a slip form system 
So that's one reason why I call this Cobb slip form method. Um, or again, you can call it the Cobbage method. That's what they called it. Um, but in more practical terms, it's a Cobb slip form, I would say. So we're going to be building this. This is the first level of Cobb. That's about two feet of Cobb. We're going to get that done in a couple days. And then we'll let it dry. And then take all the forms off and then lift the forms and then start it again. So it's different from your traditional cob building um, because you have the forms. They actually used to do this in the UK back in the 1800s. They called it shuttered cob. They would use a different forming system, a more antiquated forming system, but in principle is the same thing. So this isn't really a new invention, but it's kind of been uh, modified and improved since the old shuttered cob version. So um, anyway, I'm really excited to do this. This is honestly the culmination of about three years of my work, just doing this little building here um, from figuring out what this system was to learning how to do it, doing several test projects, um, to getting this piece of land and financing it and all the materials and the tools and then organizing this project and then getting people here to help. Uh, there's a lot involved in this building. Um, so I'm really excited about it. There's a lot to learn and I'm gonna share it all with you guys because this, in my opinion, this is really a step up for Cobb construction. And if we can make this method really practical and efficient, um, it could really you know, bring this method to a lot more people in my opinion. So um, stay tuned to the channel. I'm gonna share more on this building pretty soon. Thanks for watching. So I just wanted to add this extra bit of information in on our Cobb building materials that we're gonna use for the new building. So here we have our typical wheat straw. This is gonna be the natural fiber in the cob. And then over here, we actually have a sifted subsoil. So I like to spend the extra money and buy sifted soil. It makes the mixing process easier. Um, doesn't clog up a mortar mixer if you're using that as much. And then over here, we have what we're going to use for aggregate. So this, this is a very fine gravel. Around here they call it chat. It's a lot like crusher run or road based gravel, but it's a step down. It doesn't have those larger pieces of gravel in it. So it's more just the fine stuff. And these two in combination make a really good strong cob. And then over here we have our mortar mixer. So this is a mortar mixer. A lot of people wonder what that looks like if you haven't seen the mortar mixer in my older videos where we filmed it this is what it looks like um, so it's different from a concrete mixer a concrete mixer has that big barrel and the barrel spins this if you look inside this has paddles inside and the paddles spin on that axis or that axle and it basically mashes the material against the side of this barrel so it kind of emulates the foot mixing process. So we're going to be mixing in both the mortar mixer and with the traditional foot mixing method or the tarp method. And um, yeah, it's going to go really fast. We've got a lot of people. We got a machine. We got foot mixers. It can go pretty fast if you if you have a process all set up.